There were three dead bodies that were lying in the building. We were prevented, our lawyers and ourselves were prevented from entering the, the offices where the meeting was being held, prevented from, from going anywhere near the, the bodies that were lying at the, at the bottom. The attack was unprovoked and uncalled for. The intention is to smash the strike. The shooting in incidents, we believe, were preceded by a systematic propaganda drive by the SATS management. The SABC began this weekend by broadcasting that the whole strike was a communist plot. At the same time, SATS has issued an ultimatum to workers to return to work by today or face dismissal. The events of today are an example of the state's and SATS approach to labor relations. From the outset, with overt government support, SATS has been intransigent and refused to negotiate with the worker representatives. Striking workers have been subjected to threats, to intimidation, and hundreds of workers have been detained. Three workers were killed as police disrupted a peaceful meeting at the Kosato Germiston offices and opened fire on dispersing workers. At Kosato House, witnesses say that five workers have been killed and many injured as police took action. Kosato House has been placed under siege. No one has been allowed to leave or enter. All phones and telex machines have been cut off. And uh, the army has been deployed and barricades set up outside. Many officials and workers have been taken into custody and at the moment receive information that further Kosato officials and leading worker members are being interrogated at our building. We believe that if further attacks are going to take place against Kosatu and against the SATS workers, this, the, the, the climate that one is seeing now, the, the unrest that one is seeing now is going to escalate.